the biggest challenge for us as humans is to invest in improving uh, the environment. We need to think about the future of the planet. It's not even a question whether we want to do it or not. We have to do it. This is the scale of thinking here in Neon. Zarden is a new movement to transform how we live and how we coexist on the planet. Zarden is a very ambitious plan to bring back plants and animals that have been living in Enkovakaba. Zarden is a new beginning. Once you arrive, the first thing you see is the experience center. You go up and you see the wild day, nature and the animals living there. Guests are welcomed with this complete surprise. Suddenly, they see the landscape that once was there. From the small insects, to the birds, to the mammals. They see Nubian ibex and Arabian oryx, animals that all became extinct in this area. It's almost like time travel. In the Experience Center, scientists work and live there. And at the same time, people can come and see what is happening and learn from it. Each building relates to a different topographic element. We have the wedge, which is kind of valley, two hills on either side. And it's like a, a theater overlooking the landscape. The second building is a tower. It's a monolith that stands on the flatlands, eroded by, by wind and time, as if it was always there. And the third building is the stacked hotel there is rock formations with sharp articulated lines and there is a kind of directionality break. The guests can enjoy cycling, horse riding, rock climbing. Zarden could be the first of a whole new generation of projects. We know it's not going to be easy, but with the best people in the world, we are making this happen. Zarden is the legacy for us and the future generations. It's all up to us. Uh, this is where our journey begins. <laughs>